people are talking about copper a lot these days, and I know that you've done a lot of work on that subject in the in your generative energy book. You said I think chronic loss of copper accounts for the obvious features of aging. Dot dot dot. And I know you said uh, in your articles, probably on interviews as well, that thyroid was needed to absorb copper. And then apparently, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, DHEA has a relationship with copper and obviously thyroid. Uh, is there any way to weave a narrative through any of that? Um, no, not, not right <laughs> now. Anyway, uh, 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 the um, uh, uh, there's there's a book uh, by uh, I think A. E. Needham, uh, uh, not the famous Joseph Needham, but a, a very good book on, on the, uh, the the nature of of the materials uh, uh, involved in organisms. Uh, basically, the, sort of a portrait uh, of uh, all all of the uh, biological elements, uh, uh, in, in particular. And uh, I think it's good to uh, r- read a book like that that uh, gives you a personal uh, feeling about uh, copper. Uh, uh, Encyclopedia Britannica. Uh, I've noticed that uh, each of uh, several of of my volumes spanning uh, about 50 years. E- each one uh, has a, a very unique, uh, very important uh, article uh, that uh, the other issues don't have. Uh, and uh, if you look at uh, e- each of the biological uh, substances, uh, sulfur, for example, uh, 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 zinc, uh, e- each element, uh, I-, I think you should try to get a a personal feeling uh, about uh, what, what its properties are and, and its potentials. Is there an internal metabolite that copper associates with, similar to how magnesium associates with ATP? Uh, um, uh, nothing occurs to me. Uh, it, it's um, in competition. Uh, with uh, iron and molybdenum, uh, and uh, uh, in several ways uh, uh, cooperates closely with zinc, uh, and uh, uh, it's kind of a polar uh, uh, pair with selenium, uh, 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 a reductant and a, a powerful oxidant. So, uh, from what I understand, copper is retained in proportion to the uh, protein ceruloplasmin. Are there any things that, uh, do you know of things that increase the production of that protein? Uh, oh, uh, uh, stress and estrogen increase it. So, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, you don't want uh, too much of it. Uh, and uh, a- any heavy metal uh, in excess uh, will uh, cause you to uh, overproduce metallothionine, uh, which will uh, fairly indiscriminately uh, 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 deplete your tissues uh, of heavy metals. Uh, so that's one of the things that heavy metal poisoning does is to uh, sort of clean out uh, other heavy metals along with it. And then last question on this, but is... Uh Copper absorbed in relation to the activity of cytochrome C oxidase. Therefore, if a person's low thyroid, they're they're not going to need to retain much much copper. I think that's true. Yeah. Uh, the, the same way uh, thyroid uh, pulls magnesium into cells mm-hmm. by uh, creating its mate. Uh, I think uh, the uh, modifying the cell structure is what pulls and retains uh, copper in. How would one gauge their copper needs? Um, is there any sort of sign slash symptom that can be used to um, ascertain whether somebody needs to eat extra liver or they, you know, they have uh, plenty of copper, they don't need to eat liver, etc.? Um, a good uh, oxidative function and uh, 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 definite evidence that something's going wrong with your copper is if you're uh, losing pigment uh, in hair or skin uh, or uh, any tissue that should be pigmented. 
Great stuff. And uh, we can tie a, uh, put a bow on this, but uh, your, are your copper uh, requirement increases during infection? Do you think that's true, Ray? I, I think so. Yeah. Uh, uh, the, the body wants to get rid of iron or hide it. And uh, uh, iron, iron is like the, uh, the, the evil cousin of, of copper. Uh, <laughs> copper comes in therapeutically. <laughs>